Marvellous are thy works, that my soul knoweth right well. And yet that psalmist didn't know the intricacies of some of the things we're going to be looking at this week. The DNA is made up of the food that we eat. The outside strands are made up of polysaccharides. Poly means many and saccharides basically simply means sugars. So the polysaccharides are what the outside strands are made of. The inside strands are made up of amino acids and amino acids is a breakdown from the protein that we eat. You just had a protein drink with your last juice. That's where you're getting your amino acids. And the glue that glues all of these together is minerals. Everything we're giving you has minerals. Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. And he didn't know that. Our DNA is responsible for how high we are, how tall we are. I'm not going to be very tall because I don't have very tall parents. I have white skin, I have blue eyes, I have brown hair. I still have brown hair even though I just turned 70 because my father, he had half black, half white hair at the age of 92 when he passed. My mother passed at 51, she had brown hair. So both sides of my, both genes from both sides, uh, there's not much grey hair. My husband's white, but both his parents were white at the age of 50. And nothing I can do can change the fact that my skin is white, my hair is brown, my eyes are blue, and I'm only five foot about two. Nothing can change that. So it seems like a tiny little step to say my mother died at 51, a cripple in a wheelchair with rheumatoid arthritis, and so, so will I. But you've probably noticed I'm not dead and I'm not a cripple in a wheelchair with rheumatoid arthritis. This thumb took a while to heal and it's been a bit sore for about a year. And I said, in the, I said to the doctor, is there anything happening with that thumb? He said, oh, I've got a little bit of osteoarthritis there. I thought, praise God. Why did I say praise God for that? Because it explained why that thumb took a little while to heal. And I thought, is that all I've got? With the strong genes towards the arthritis. And I know exactly what to do. Yes, I have castoral compressors on it every night. Yes, I have <laughs> turmeric. And that's what you learn this, this week. You'll learn management programs of how to manage all the little bits and pieces. But I'm so glad that though genetics loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. My mother didn't realise that she was doing all the things that were contributing to her arthritis. And we'll look at that in a minute bit more detail on Thursday when we look at the acid alkaline balance in the body. I'm so glad that though genetics loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger because we are all born today with some uh, glitches in our DNA. They're inherited glitches. So even if your mother and her parents and her parents had a certain condition, you need not. You can switch those genes on and off by our lifestyle, including even the way we think. 